this is old mates backyard tech i am in no way shape or form a fully qualified mechanic therefore if you are following along with this service repair and or information video you are doing this at your own risk so you have been warned all right now yesterday for weekend saturdays here at old mates backyard tech i promoted a video regarding the other half's car radio and her mobile phone and we were having a little bit of a as your father of a time with it it wasn't working really well initially old mate thought it'd be a simple fix it's turned into a mission that uh well i've been stumped on You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Weekend Sundays here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech and for this one we're talking about the other half's car, or more specifically her car radio and her mobile phone and neither of them are talking. In fact, actually to be brutally honest, they're arguing. Now I swear I did a video of uh, installing that car radio and if I can find it I'll put a card up there somewhere wherever it goes for you guys to go and check that video out I, was, I thought i'd done a video on that and i cannot find it but anyway um her mobile phone and head unit have been arguing for some time and i thought well this will be an easy fix we'll just blow away everything and repair it all all right now bluetooth pairing we all know how to do it we've all done it I'm not going to go through the whole process, okay? However, her Oppo A53S mobile phone and her Pioneer MVH S215BT head unit are having a little bit of a how's your father argument. Now, the reason I said I'm stumped is because I don't know how to fix the problem. Now, I've done the standard reset procedure on the head unit. I'm not going to go through how that works. We all know it. We've all done it. We've all seen it, everything, and so on and so forth. It's pretty much standard knowledge. If, you deal, if, you, if you've been dealing with Pioneer equipment for as long as old mate, you sort of know it off by heart. And I'm not going to bore people with how to do it because undoubtedly we'll have some of the holier than now know it all experts going, well, you're talking about stuff I already know. Um, if you want to know how to reset a Pioneer head unit, um, particularly an MVH series, I know how to do it off by heart. It's actually pretty easy. So is the AVH and I think it's DEH uh, series as well. But anyway, so the problem I've got is the head unit and the mobile phone are having a bit of a as your father argument and I can't pair them. I don't know why. Now, she does have a fit, Fitbit Versa. I doubt it's that. Because the head unit shows up on the phone as a headset. But it won't talk. I'm not getting a PIN code. I'm not getting a PIN access correlation code. I'm getting a pass key mismatch. I don't know how to fix the problem. Now, I've got onto Oppo's site, effectively clear your Bluetooth cache, clear your Bluetooth settings, clear your, your Wi-Fi network settings, take them back. So rather than clearing the whole phone, just clear system settings and that solves your problem. No, it didn't. The damn thing won't talk. And to be honest, look, I'm not concerned, but it's the other half. She needs to be able to have her phone Bluetooth to the head unit so that if she's out and about and work ring or the family ring or I ring or what have you, she can just use the car radio, push the answer button and she can talk rather than having, as we know, getting a hold of the mobile phone and that looks a little sus. So um, having 
blown away the Bluetooth settings on the head unit to delete all the pairing that's been done with that. Trash the cache and data cache from the Bluetooth on the phone. Repair the Fitbit. The Fitbit comes up. It's a um, Versa 2. Um, but it won't pair to the head unit. The head unit's not even 12 months old. Okay, we only put the head unit in late last year. I don't know. I'm absolutely stumped. So I'm going to put the call out. If any of my viewers have an Oppo A53S and a Pioneer head unit MVH 200 to 300, so that covers... 200, sorry, let me rephrase that. A Pioneer head unit MVHS 200 to 300 BT. And there's a few models in there. So there's 200, 215, 220, 230, and 300. Um, particularly if you've got, say, two S200, 215, 220, which I, if my memory's right, are the ones without CD players. Um, the reset procedure is a little different on AVH and DEH, but MVH, um, if you have an Oppo A53S and you manage to get it to pair, um, put your comments in the section below and tell me what to do because my standard way of getting things done, which is, yeah, as we always say, you know, if your, power, if your head unit marks up, you just simply factory reset it. It clears whatever, the phone, whatever. This head unit will not talk to her phone. Right, it can see it. The Bluetooth can see it. The phone can see the head unit, MVHS 215BT. won't talk. Can't pair. Pass key issues. Pin code issues. If anyone's got any ideas, all right. See, the stupid thing is it'll pair to my phone, to my old head unit. All right, but that's old. I've had that head unit nearly as long as I've had the car now. So that's an old model. It's an older Bluetooth model. It's an older model because it has that horribly yucky, terrible, who uses it? Why would you even bother using its CD player in it? Actually, to be brutally honest, my head unit has CD, Bluetooth, auxiliary, and USB. I've got four as well as AM, FM, Radio 5. The other half's head unit has Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, and AM, FM, Radio. It's only got four, no optical drive. But if anyone knows how to get those damn MVH215s to talk to an Oppo A53S, please tell me. Because I've done the standard Pioneer reset procedure, which... Look, like I said, if you've been dealing with Pioneer equipment, as long as I've been dealing with their head units, you sort of know how to do it off by heart. The Oppo system, well, according to Clear OS, I think it's 7 and above, um, to clear the Bluetooth and, and get rid of pairing and everything like that, you, what do you do? Uh, you go into app management, go to system list, go to Bluetooth, clear data, clear cache, yeah, it basically blows away the everything you restart. Didn't do anything. So if anyone knows how to get an MVH S200 through to 300 BT to talk to an Oppo A53S, it's not for me. It's for the other half. Okay? She doesn't want to get caught. And that's fair enough. So if you know how to do it or have figured out a way around it, Please tell me, because I need to know urgently. There we are. So that's the up. That's why yesterday's video didn't get out because it's turned into a massive mission, and it's not something we can wait for. All right, I'm stumped. I don't know what the problem is. That you know. Her Oppo phone is not that old. Her head unit's not that old. <laughs> how's your father of an argument so if you can let me know please guys either privately via email 
or comments down below sometime over the next 24 hours, please, because I am stumped. I really don't know. There we go. Anyway, stick around. Coming up for you shortly, the iMac. And I need to figure out how I'm going to get it integrated into the network. Have a good one.